Hello everyone, Callie here with a new tech tip video for you all. Today we are looking at how to make a PNG transparent image from any other image. It's fairly simple. You do it with Paint 3D, which comes with Windows. So I'm sure you could do it if you put in a little effort. Today we are going to remove Alphonse from this image and just have Ed left. So the way you do it is go find an image you like. You could use the same image if you want. I'll put a link down in the description below. And you go click the magic select button. Now you're just going to take and drag this over for the parts of the picture that you want to keep. Hit next. Now here's where you're going to run into some issues with some images. As you see here, we have add. I took out these two spots here. We want to make sure to add those back. It doesn't look like there's really... Okay, there's a piece of a glove here. Uh, I think that's about it for that side. But then we go look up at the hair, and there's this chunk right there, because it looks like the rest of the hair. So you got to click Remove, and you're just going to kind of draw, and it should automatically just kind of assume what you want to do. I'm going to take this little chunk here, too. That's too much. We'll have to edit this one in post. As you all can see, if you take it how to take this little piece out, it's kind of taking those chunks, which you might be okay with. Actually, that's probably okay. All right, well, we'll leave it like that. And then you could just go and take a look at any other sections that you want to remove. There's some blackness here. But if you do that, it might make it very hard. You might have to edit that and post. So I would recommend just leaving those as is. There's a little piece of hair here. If you want to try to add it, it's going to add some other fluff to it, as you can see. So you just have to make some concessions. Either way, we have our image here. Overall, it looks fairly good. Let's add the piece of this glove back, though. It may be more difficult to add than it's worth. It's fairly decent. Okay, we have our image. Begin. You all could play with this for a long time and end up getting varying results. But we have our image here. You're going to click Done. It's going to pop it out like that. And you do Control C to copy. Now, there's many different ways you could go about this, but of the hundreds of these that I've done over the last few years, it's best just to open a new Paint 3D and Control V, paste it in there. The next thing you want to do is go to Canvas. Make sure that Lock Aspect Ratio and Resize Image with Canvas are disabled. And just go through and zoom in to the parts you want to keep. Once again, like we did earlier. Okay, now you could click this transparent canvas button. And voila, you could really quit right here if you wanted to. Not have to edit anymore. If you want to mess with the gloves more and get them more smooth. If you want to go through and take out this stuff here. I recommend taking a brush, taking an eraser, making a small thickness, and then just start erasing. Again, this is going to be quite a tedious process and probably isn't going to bring that much value to it. But these little flyaway hairs here, uh, I would probably take and correct those. So you just zoom in and take out the pieces that you don't want so it looks smoother. And there we have it. It's fairly consistent overall. You got some junk down here in the corner. If you want to take this out, you can. Otherwise, you've got it. So, now that you're done with it, all you have to do is go to Menu, Save As, click Image, to make sure it's a PNG, and you have a transparent image as long as Transparent Canvas is checked. And then you could put this into any other file that you're working on in Canva, or Adobe Photoshop, or really any other thing. You could even put it on your stream if you want to. But you have this transparent image. So it will take all the background out, and all you have is this. Pretty great. Pretty great. Again, this is how you can make emotes from basically any image. You can make stuff for thumbnails. It's really great. A very simple process to do. Uh, shout out to my supporters on YouTube here. We have Novelist Tier Supporter with Ace. And, of course, our Chapter Tier Supporters 
with SK and Crow. Thank you all for supporting my content. If you would like to watch another tech video uh, related to this and streaming, click the video on screen right now. And if you like this video, consider hitting the like button. And I will see you all next time. Bye for now.